Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Steve Jans, and today we're going to look at quality. You've had a chance to work on the problem that I've given you, and you've put together the numbers. Now, as I have mentioned in class, putting this together is worth about three or four marks. The analysis, what this means, is worth another 10 marks. And that's what we're going to explore. Now, before I do that, this is the third video I've created today, and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to my director, Victoria. And she was just laughing and having some fun with me because she is right now working on her PA2 studies and she's sitting back saying, I'm learning so much because this is in PA2 again. So you're learning it in my class. You're going to need it down the road when you're writing your CPA or your CGA exams. So this is truly important. So let's learn as much as we can right now. Let's get started. So we take a look at the quality cost report. What is the purpose of this? What does it accomplish for a company's culture? Well, first, when you prepare this report, you have meetings about it. You make it very detailed. You have a lot of people looking at this. You're setting up your culture that quality is important. And for companies these days, it is absolutely key. And this sets the right image of how important quality is for your operations. Now let's get in to the results. And one of the best things about this report is it helps identify sometimes items that you may never have thought of, that may have been hidden. And you get into the details and you take a look at how it affects your reputation, your sales, your bottom line. And that's the fun part of management accounting. So the first thing, we take a look at this question. We see 2014, 2015. What's happening with our sales? Our sales are, oh my goodness, they are going down and they are going down fast. And why is that? That's horrible. We don't want that. Is it increased competition? Or, or and or, is it maybe our reputation? What's happening with our product? Well, where do we find that? We find that in the last section here. External failure costs. What's happening with them? Our external failure costs are, woo, they are really going up. 63,000 to 90. Product recalls are high. Warranty repairs are going higher. This is really bad for our reputation if this is the direction. And one of the things that this report doesn't capture, but it's also something we always have to consider, is the opportunity cost. Are we losing sales because our reputation is going down, that would be really bad. Because that would inflate this external failure cost to even a much higher number. So again, take a look at your sales, take a look at your external failure costs. Now, one of the really nice things about the quality cost report is it helps identify where we probably should be spending our money. And if we take a look at the first section here, prevention costs, what do we see? We see a lot less money being spent on the early phases. Product design and review, we've really slashed that. And that's not good because that's probably leading to our poor reputation and our poor quality product. And we really want to make sure that instead of this going down, we probably want this to be going up. And results have shown time and time again that if we spend the money here, the chances of us having our costs go up are actually probably not going to happen. This will help with our failures, our internal failures and our external failures. Why? It's a very simple philosophy. We get it right from the beginning. And then the customer's happy. We don't have the recalls. We don't have the warranty repairs. And therefore, we're creating that really positive image. And that's really key. You take a look at the appraisal costs. Again, they're even going down. Remember, how do you know what goes into the appraisal section? I often give the hint in class. If it says testing, if it says inspection, it's probably in the appraisal. And you know, I showed you that really good video about a certain car manufacturer where at the end of the product line, they only need one person in the testing phase because they get everything right from the beginning. And it's a very powerful YouTube video that we have seen. 
So overall, this is what the quality cost report here in this example is showing us. And you can even see here that in the internal failure costs, our costs are starting to rise because our rework, rework is going up and we're having to make corrections to our designs. So anyways, what this report is overall showing is that we need a shift. We need a shift of spending money from here to spending money here. And that's something that the company needs to learn. Have a good day.